Hi guys, in this video, I am going to show you that how you can integrate PayPal Plus into your website. So this is really simple for you if you are interested to integrate into your website. Actually, we have to create an account on PayPal and then after we have to uh, uh, find some credentials from our account and then we can use those uh, uh, credentials uh, to access the PayPal Plus uh, functionality into our website. So if you have not subscribed my channel, just subscribe it and uh, let's continue with the video. So I have this website now, you can see over here, this is the website and I have some plans to buy and now I am interested to integrate the PayPal Plus in this. So I have to uh, first of all go to my dashboard of the WordPress. So you can see over here I have few plugins. Once you are clicking on the plugins on the left menu, you will be getting all the list of the uh, plugins. But currently I have the WooCommerce installed already, but I am interested to use the PayPal Plus. So you need to click on add new. <coughs> Once you clicked over there, then you can uh, get this search uh, plugin. So I will be writing here PayPal Plus then click and it will search the PayPal Plus. So you can see that PayPal Plus for WooCommerce about 20,000 people has already installed and now you need to click on install. This is installing now and once done the installation then you need to click on activate and then this will be activated. So finally, you will end up with the installation and activation of the plugin. Now you need to go to the WooCommerce, then you have to click on settings. <coughs> so once you clicked on the settings, then you have to click on the payments tab over here. So once you are clicking over it, then you will be getting some options over here. So all the payment methods would be shown over here, but we are interested in PayPal Plus. So you will be getting that one. PayPal Plus, you have to enable this one and you need to save changes. So once the changes has been saved, then you need to click on manage. So once you clicked on the manage button then you will be getting all the information over here so you can see that uh, we have uh, like uh, enable paypal plus and then we have enable paypal sandbox so currently we don't have the credentials so now we need to uh, log into our paypal account and then uh, use the credentials so you can see that this is the paypal.com you have to go there uh, but before that you have to go to developer developer.paypal.com you have to log into this account actually because api credentials are stored over here so you need to click on login to dashboard and here you have to write the email id and then after you need to add the password so once done with this then you will be getting the confirmation yeah finally we end up with this one so now we are interested to create the sandbox credentials you have to click on sandbox if you are uh, using the live then you have to click on the live all right but for now i am going to create the sandbox so you need to create an app over here so i am gonna write here i am gonna click here and this is for example app 2 and you have to uh, choose the business account over here so here is my business account you need to create an app over here right so once done with that you can see that uh, we have the sandbox account business account this one and we have the client id and then over here we will be having the secret id but you know that in some cases uh, you will not have the uh, business account and maybe the uh, personal account so 
by default uh, paypal is providing two accounts one is personal account another is business account so if you are seeing that uh, here you have nothing then you can create a new account over here so you need to click on create account and then for example i am interested in personal account so for example i am writing here united state of america or maybe netherlands so you need to create click on create and it will be created so you can see that now we have another account personal account created and if you are interested in business account then again create click on create account and here you have to select the business or merchant account then again i'm gonna write here netherlands for say example and then click on create <coughs> So once done with that, then you know that when you will be creating that uh, my account, uh, my apps and credentials. So over there, you will be getting the uh, drop down when you will be creating the account. All right. So for example, I am interested to create another one, create app. So then this drop downs uh, sometimes uh, get empty if you are not having any business account or personal account but if you have created then uh, you will be getting all the details over here right so currently we have the business accounts so that's why we could able to create a uh, create an app so now we need to use those credentials so you can see that app 2 we already created just now and we are now going to copy this client id from here and we need to paste it over here so this is the sandbox you need to paste it over here then again i need to show the secret so you can see here we have the secret id you need to copy this one and again paste it over here all right so all the details you have to keep as it is you have to mention here a logo so I have a URL over here. I have added the URL of the logo. So that should be absolute URL. All right. So let me show you how. For example, I have a logo in the uh, header or maybe footer. So what you can do is, for example, I have this one and open image in new tab. Then you can see that this is the logo and you can copy this URL and then add that URL to uh, this settings, right? So I have done the same thing. Now you are done with all the uh, informations. Now you need to click on save changes. Yeah, finally your settings has been saved. So now let's do the testing. So here we have few things like buy now so I'm gonna click on buy now you need to click on add to cart or maybe whatever uh, pro uh, flow you will have added into your website so then we have proceed to checkout here we will be ha uh, adding all the details and you can see that uh, down below we have paypal direct debit credit card and invoice so here you can see that we have the paypal as well as credit card so let's uh, test with the paypal first so i have read and agree to the website terms and conditions then you have to click on place order and this order would be placed pay for order now we are we will be redirected to the paypal yeah so here we have to add the personal account details so which would be the personal account let me show you you have to click on accounts so here down below you can see that we have used this business account and this is the personal account so we need to click on view edit account and you will be getting a pop-up here so here you need to use this email id for the payment purpose so i am gonna use this one and here is the password so i'm gonna use this one and then click on login 
so once you are logged in then you will be getting the options to do the payment with your personal account of the PayPal or maybe your credit card and make sure this is the test this is the sandbox right so we have 99 euro so let's see all the information would be loaded here so you can see that all the things are loaded now we are interested to click on pay now so let's do it so finally you can see that order received and here we have all the details like payment method is PayPal direct debit credit card and invoice so thank you uh, your order has been received and email ID and all all the stuff over here so you can also see the billing address over here so now let's see uh, on the dashboard also so if you will see on the orders so you can see that this is uh, three minutes ago so we have 99 euro order here so which would be successful shortly so one more thing is like uh, now we are interested to see our sandbox account that whether uh, we are uh, we are uh, getting the payment or not so let's uh, check first of all the uh, business account so i am gonna copy this one and let me open this into private window uh, here we have to sandbox sandbox.paypal.com you have to go there and here you need to log in so I need to add the business account and then I need to add the password here so you will be clicking on view edit account and then you will be getting the credentials so you can see that this is the password here so I have added the uh, email ID and now you need to add the password I have pasted over here then click on login and now you will be getting all the details of your business account so sometimes it uh, takes some time uh, to show all the details but maybe yeah finally we end up with this one you can see that 99 euro transaction has been done over here so John do and uh, you can also see all the details over here yeah Rahmatul Rahmatul Alameen so this is the name and you have already seen this same name on the dashboard here yeah Rahmatul Alameen right so that means our order has been successful and transaction is also going to be going to be successful right so the, here all the details are over here so you can check everything according to your requirement but you know that uh, we have verified that our order has been successful so this is the way to use the PayPal plus uh, payment gateway into your website so if you are facing any issue uh, you can also contact me I will be adding my email ID in the description as well as my whatsapp number so if you are thinking that you are facing such type of issues or anything else then you can contact me uh, for any technical issue I will be helping you out right so in this way we will be integrating the PayPal uh, uh, plus into into our website right right so one more question is like uh, I have uh, also the option of credit card so how you will be testing your credit card is like uh, you need to go to your business account here you can see that this is the business account and this is the personal account right so again you need to click on view edit account so when you will be doing the transaction with the credit card then you have to use uh, let me show you yeah here is the credit card uh, test credentials so you can use this card number and this is the expiry date and uh, you will be adding uh, the CVV or CC uh, CVV number as one two three or any anything else right so in this way you would able to test your 
credit card as well into into your PayPal Plus. So I hope you got the basic understanding that how you can integrate the PayPal Plus into your Word, WordPress website. So if you are still facing any issue, then you can contact me. I will be helping you out. Uh, so uh, please subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed and like the video as well. So thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next video.